and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Today, I'm going to cover setting up IP address nesting in PHP IPAM. My hope here is to spark your imagination as to why you'd want to do it. Hint, to keep things organized. Okay, let's begin. So, in order to get this demonstration going, we need to first go to our admin panel and then so, or sorry, our home, and then what we want to do is go over here to sections. And in here, we want to add a new section, and I'm going to call this new section New Office. And the reason why I'm calling it a New Office is because oftentimes you have an office that's assigned a bunch of IPs that are subnetted. And an example of that might be you have a Wi-Fi VLAN, you have a user VLAN, a printer VLAN, and my hope here is to sh demonstrate how you would do this and keep it nice and clean with PHP IPAM. So let's begin. New office site, and we're going to uh, give it a description. We'll call it the Tech Guys Guide. Uh, for this go around, we're not going to concern ourselves with the VLAN or VRF or showing supernets. And uh, this is where later on in a more advanced video, this will become more important about the permissions. But right now, really it's only me as an admin demonstrating this. Now that that section has been created, that will be tied to the subnets. But before I do that, uh, in other videos, I had already created a name server, so I'm going to reuse that. But now I need to tag that name server to this new office site as a section. As you can see, this is already over here. So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to edit. I'm going to go to the new office site, and I'm going to save that. And now this name server is tied to this site, which then translates to subnets. And this is where I'm going to create my master subnet or main subnet. I'm going to make this a very large subnet for this very large office. And I'm going to give it a description. I'm not going to assign any VLANs or anything, but I do want to show that I can assign this right and i'm going to leave it in the root folder again i'm going to leave this for a more advanced video longer video but this is just to get sections set up and we're going to enable these items and there we go we have our main subnet now i'm going to go back into this subnet and then down here by the actions after the pencil is the add new nested subnet. So I'm going to create a subnet that I already have that I've used for other videos. And the principal reason is I want to be able to show that I can scan and do things in there. And we're just going to give this a generic name. I'm going to reuse an existing VLAN that's already exists on the server. And you can see that the name server flowed down. Again, these items, and then resolving the DNS name, and I'm going to hit Add. Next, I'm going to add another one, and I can add it down here, or I can add it up here. So we'll go up here, and we'll call this one Internet of Things. Let me grab this real fast. And we'll call it... Uh, Oh, we'll just call that IoT, and I think I had a subnet. Yes, I did. And again, we'll leave it pretty much the default. You notice that this is still the master subnet. And if you notice here, we have 17,920 and 47,488. If I add, you should see the 47, yeah, see, it used up those IP addresses. 
So as you can see, I'm using IP addresses. Uh, if I go into my subnet and I hit scan, subnet for new hosts, right? I'm gonna do discovery scan. I should see some items here. As you can see, there's actual items there. So I'm gonna hit add and you can now see those populated. And if I go back to my section, you'll see that, you know, this is populated. It has some items in it. Um, and if I go back to my main subnet, the root subnet, right, you'll see that there's 12 used and there's, you know, 90% free and so on and so forth. So now this is where you may have a situation where you need a subnet that you want to subsequently break down. Now, there's different uses cases for this. So that's where you have to be clever on your own. But let's say I have this rather sizable subnet here and we'll just give it a description of, I don't know, we'll call it that. There's no VLAN. Our intent is to subdivide this again. And you'll see everything's getting populated and we'll hit add. So, and you'll see that there's IPs above and below, right? 23552, this has a thousand usable IPs. So then in here, you can see I can further subdivide this or subnet it, right? And it shows me the available subnets that I can create. You know, and obviously the larger the the subnet mask I use, the you know more I can have. So, but I want to just break this into two. So I'm going to add that one. We'll call it test one, and we'll just leave it at that. And then we'll do another one, and we'll call that obviously test two. And there we go. We have created. And you can see we have 510 possible usable IPs here. And if I go back to my root of this section, or master subnet in this case, you'll see as we look at this, there are different subnets. I could scan. I don't have anything in these. Um, but for the most part, you can see with the space map, if I wanted to further subdivide this or subnet it, well, that's pretty much it, everyone. I want to say thank you uh, for watching my video. If you liked it, please click the like button. Please subscribe. And please add some comments if, if I didn't make this very clear. Um, I'd love, I can respond in comments. And thank you for you know, watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.